In this video, we will try to solve another question that was asked in JAM Economics of 2021 paper. The question is related to the ISLM model. The question is, the ISLM model for a closed economy is given below. So we are given the ISLM model where uh, Y is the output, C is the consumption, I is the investment and T is the tax rate. M super uh, script D is the money demand, P is the price level or is the real interest rate and pi super script uh, E is the expected inflation rate and G is the government expenditure. So we are given the relation that C is equal to 200 plus 0 0.8 bracket Y minus T bracket closed minus 500 R and investment function is also given. Our tax rate is also given and M uh, super uh, script D divided by P that is a uh, real money supply is given as 0 0.5 Y minus 250 uh, bracket R plus the expected level of inflation. Uh, if government expenditure is 196 expected uh, inflation rate is uh, 0.1 that is 10 percent nominal money supply equals 9890 and full employment output level equals 1000 the full employment equilibrium price level in the economy is we have to find the full employment price level in the economy given the values of the various variables here okay so first of all as we know we will uh, write the aggregate output our aggregate output function is as we know that is aggregate uh, supply is equal to aggregate demand or we can write y is equal to that is aggregate output is equal to that is equal to consumption expenditure plus investment expenditure plus government expenditure okay this is uh, the aggregate demand is equal to aggregate supply this is the uh, relationship between them okay so uh, we just plug the values here so our consumption function is given as this is our consumption function given so we will write 200 uh, plus 0 0.8 bracket y minus t y minus the income tax minus 500 times the real interest rate that is r so this is our c plus the investment function our investment function is given as that is 200 200 minus 500 or also our government expense that is g the value of g is given as 196 so we will write here 196 so we will further solve this will come out to be 200 plus 0 0.8 bracket y minus the tax rate uh, the relationship is given here that is equal to in place of t we have this very expression that is uh, 20 plus 0 0.25 y okay then we have this minus 500 or plus 200 minus 500 or plus 196 okay now we will solve this uh, when solving this will come out to be here 200 plus 200 is equal to 400 and 400 plus 196 that is equal to 596 so I can write 596 here plus we have this 0 0.8 and we will further solve this here it is y minus 20 so this will become minus into minus is uh, minus into plus is minus so this is minus 0 0.25 y okay now negative 500 or negative 500 or is equal to negative 1000 or okay 
so this is our y is equal to this very expression now further solving this will come out to be this is for you 96 plus 0 0.8 okay here y minus 0 0.2 for you y that is equal to uh, 0 0.7 for you y this minus 20 minus 1000 or okay i hope i am making myself clear so this comes out to be 596 uh, plus now 0.8 into 0.7 for you that is uh, 0 0.8 0 0.8 into 0 0.7 for you this comes out to be uh, when calculating the value uh, this comes out to be 0 0.6 y similarly minus 0 0.8 into uh, 20 uh, comes out to be 16 minus 1000 or okay now further solving this will come out to be so I will write here uh, that implies our y is equal to uh, 5 96 minus 16 uh, which comes out to be uh, 6 minus 6 is 0 we get here 5 80 for you that is 5 80 5 80 plus 0 0.6 y minus 1000 r okay now transposing this uh, 0 0.6 y on lhs so this will become y minus 0 0.0.6 0 y is equal to 580 580 minus 1000 r okay now uh, y minus 0 0.6 y is equal to uh, which is equal to 0 0.4 y is equal to 500 sorry 580 580 minus 1000 or okay so this is uh, now solving for y we will get y is equal to 580 that is 500 i will write here 580 and uh, we will divide this uh, rhs by 0 0.4 that is equal to 0 0.4 minus we have 1000 or 1000 or so i will write here this is 1000 r divided by 0 0.4 okay when solving this will give us y is equal to 580 divided by 0 0.4 will come out to be 1450 minus similarly 1000 divided by 0 0.4 will come out to be 2500 r okay so this is our is equation this is our is equation okay now uh, we take this the question also tells us nominal money supply is equal to 9890 and the full employment output level equals to thousand okay first we will take the full employment output level that is full employment output level is equal to thousand that means our y is equal to thousand so i can write uh, thousand is equal to one four five zero minus two five zero zero or okay now when solving for or we will get uh, two five zero zero or is equal to two five zero zero or is equal to now one hundred one thousand four hundred fifty minus thousand which comes out to be four hundred fifty which implies our or is equal to four hundred fifty divided by 2500 which comes out to be 0 0.18 okay that means the interest 
and so I will write our R is equal to real interest rate is 0 0.18 okay now coming back to the um, this very expression so this is our nominal uh, money uh, as we know in the LM curve uh, money supply is equal to money demand our money demand is uh, this MD that is nominal money supply is equal to 9890 now when we divide nominal money supply by price level we get the real money supply okay so in place of so first i will write this our equation is given as m super, uh, superscript d divided by p this is the real money supply which is equal to 0 0.5 y minus 250 plus the real interest rate plus expected inflation okay here the question uh, gives us the value of uh, nominal money supply which is equal to 9890 so in place of this i can write 9890 because since this is money demand as we know in alan Caro, money demand is equal to money supply since money supply is equal to uh, 9890 which is equal to money demand so in place of so i will write here to make it sure we know that md is equal to ms okay so we use uh, this very expression since our uh, nominal money supply is equal to which is given as 1000 sorry uh, our nominal money supply is given as um, i will write here our uh, nominal money supply is given as 9890 nine, so since MD is equal to MS, so we just uh, insert the value of MD here, okay? So MD will be equal to 9890. So I can write 9890, okay? Divide by the price level which we are supposed to find is equal to 0 0.5, okay? Now the value of Y is as we have seen, our value of Y is given as that is. Uh, our y is equal to 1000 that is full employment output level is equal to 1000 so i can write in place of y is 1000 once 1000 minus 250 plus uh, rate of interest which we have calculated 0 0.18 0 0.18 uh, plus the expected uh, level of uh, inflation is also given as is uh, 0 0.1 so i can write 0 0.1 here okay now solving this this is 9890 divided by p is equal to 0.5 into 1000 is equal to 500 minus 250 uh, sorry it is here in the multiplication uh, 0.18 plus 0.1 is equal to 0 0.28 okay now further solving this is 9890 divided by p is equal to this is uh, 500 sorry 500 minus now 250 multiplying it with uh, 0 0.28 this comes out to be 70 i have calculated it okay now which comes out to be which comes out to be here and nine eight nine zero divided by p is equal to 500 minus 70 is equal to 430 okay or 430 p is equal to nine eight nine zero or our p is equal to nine eight nine zero divided by 430 when solving this dividing we will get p is equal to 23 okay so i hope i make myself clear here we are given here we are given that we are given in islm model so first i will uh, show you we are also given here this is our is function and also this is our lm function okay that means so if I can graph it, uh, we can write it here. If this denotes 
the level of output a real interest rate as we know equilibrium occurs where is intersects lm this is our is curve this is our lm curve and our full employment output level was given as 1000 so this is sorry uh, this is 1000 and we got the expected rather the real interest rate is 0 0.18 0 0.18 okay so from that we got uh, the value of the price level when getting the value of r so i will repeat how we have calculated here we were given an islm model okay it was given like this our consumption function was given investment function was given the tax rate function was given also the money supply real money supply was also given okay and the value of government expenditure was given expected inflation rate its value was given our uh, nominal money supply was 9890 and full employment output level that is why was 1000 we were told to find the equilibrium price level in the economy so first of all we took the basic equation uh, that is y aggregate output is equal to consumption expenditure plus investment expenditure plus government expenditure okay now consumption expenditure its function was given here this was our consumption expenditure so we write the consumption expenditure here okay our investment expenditure rather investment function was given okay this was our government uh, expenditure which was also given which was exogenous in this case as g is equal to 196 okay then also the tax that is uh, income tax function was also given that is 20 plus 0 0.25 y that means uh, the value of t we have written here okay when solving this uh, we got uh, y is equal to 1450 minus 2500 or when further solving we got the value of real interest rate okay after that we were told that real money supply is given by this very function okay but the question uh, has given us only the nominal uh, nominal money supply but as we know for money market equilibrium money market equilibrium money demand is equal to money supply okay since here we are given the money demand but the value of money sub, uh, nominal money supply was given as 9890 we just uh, conclude from this uh, uh, from this relation that money demand will be also equal to 9890 so we just plug out the value here 9890 divided by the price level which was to be found and when solving when giving the value of the expected inflation rate our expected inflation rate was given as uh, 0 0.1 okay we just used this very uh, expression and inserted the value of the real interest rate which we found earlier and all other things were already given okay when solving this uh, we got the full employment or full employment equilibrium price level is 23 i hope i make myself clear because of the lack of the space i was not able to um, make this um, video more explanatory so i apologize for that thank you